Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pani Madhuri, Consultant Reproductive Medicine at Matutpa Fertility Center, Kodmangla, Bangalore. So can there be bleeding in early pregnancy? This is such a disastrous condition for a woman who is pregnant. It can cause a sleepless nights, it can disturb her mental peace and she's always worried. This is one thing that can just shatter her world. But of course, bleeding in early pregnancy is very common in the sense it can occur in about 3-5% to of pregnancies, especially very common in patients who have conceived out of fertility treatments due to various causes. Now what happens in the early pregnancy? Early pregnancy, the growing embryo buries into the wall of the uterus to try to get the blood supply from the mother to enhance its nutrition and starts growing. So when this process is happening, the small fetus is trying to grow bigger to occupy the whole size of the uterus. During this process, the raw surface of the uterus sometimes could bleed and this is called implantation bleeding. It's quite common and is not to be worried as long as the pregnancy is going forward very conveniently. It could be of worry to the doctor as well as the patient only if the quality of the pregnancy is not going ahead in the expected manner. That's when the bleeding in early pregnancy could be very very significant and can be a matter of uh, worry to both the doctor as well as the patient. How do we determine the quality of the pregnancy? In the sense, if the patient is bleeding and still the growth of the fetus is expected is growing as per the expectation of the doctor that is whatever is supposed to be seen in a due course of time over a week or 10 days interval like the increase in the sac size, appearance of the fetal pole, appearance of the heartbeat of the fetus, it's fine and bleeding could just be because of the implantation bleed or from bleed from the raw surface of the uterus and this the patient could be very well reassured. But sometimes what happens is uh, the growth of the fetus may not be appropriate and the bleeding could start and could become heavy associated with cramping in the lower abdomen. So these are signs of early miscarriage or threatened miscarriage wherein we have to aggressively act upon the pregnancy and the mother to figure out as to what could be the reasons for this bleed and treat them appropriately. Now sometimes what also happens is there can be an event called subchorionic hematoma wherein when the fetus is invading into the uterine wall there could be some vessels which bleed a little more than expected and there can be a small collection of bleed behind the implanting embryo into the uterine wall in the decidual area. So this bleed sometimes may slowly trickle down the internal loss and come out to the external loss in the form of dark bleed or sometimes even fresh bleed. So these are also conditions which can add on to worry to the mother but as long as the fetus is growing fine these events can be ignored and can be supported with various medications like rest, uh, hemostatics and progesterone though of course none of these have very significant uh, evidence levels.